The last work on tonight's program is also one of the earliest surviving works by Beethoven. The cantata on the death of Emperor Joseph II was written by a 19-year-old composer in February-March 1790, following the sad news of the death of the Emperor in Vienna. By the way, Emperor's younger brother, Maximilian Franz, was Archduke of Bonn and thus Beethoven's patron. The idea of the composition came from the so-called Lesegesellschaft, the Society of Reading of Bonn. The chairman of this reading society has commissioned his nephew, the young 20 years old poet Severin Averdonk, to supply the text. And Beethoven, who was already quite well known in Bonn, was asked to provide the music. However, two days before the planned performance, the performance has been called off, quote, for various reasons. The reasons could indeed have been many, but it's clear that it was the unsuperseded level of complexity of the music, which made it impossible to be sight-read and prepared in the shortest period of time. Apart from the great individual beauties of this cantata, there are two moments which present a great interest to us because of their connection with the later composed opera Fidelio. The opening of the cantata resembles the start of the second act of Fidelio. So hear what it sounds like in the cantata. And here the version of 14 years later in Fidelio. same musical solution for the blinding darkness which Florestan awakening in the dungeon is confronted with and here symbol of the death of the emperor. The second moment occurs towards the end of the cantata in the big aria of the soprano with the choir. Da stiegen die Menschen, die Menschen ans Licht. There the people emerged, emerged onto light. That's how it sounds in the cantata. And here is an excerpt from the second act's finale when the minister Don Fernando proclaims Florestan and the other inmates of the dungeon for free.
So here, the Beethoven of 1804 consults the 19-year-old Beethoven in 1790 and finds his ideas still inspiring. In tonight's program, we brought together four relatively unknown works by Beethoven. But we've had the pre-echoes of the theme of joy, We've had pre-echoes of the theme of hope from Fidelio. We had the love and compassion in I Perfido. And we had the intellectual vigor and brilliance in Grand Fugue. All four elements incredibly viable in any time, but particularly in our difficult times today. So Beethoven is continuing to give us hope and joy. We hope you will relish tonight's program and wish you all the very best. Please stay healthy, stay with us, stay with the LPO online.